Good Tuesday morning. So glad to be with you in Deuteronomy chapter 8 as we continue our study. And this is a, a great, pa- one of my favorite passages in Deuteronomy is in Deuteronomy 8 verses 11 to the end of the chapter. I'm gonna, not going to read all of it, but the Lord is saying, remember where you came from and remember how you got here. You know, one of the great things that God's given us is memory. Now, I know some memories are bad, but there's so many good memories in our lives especially as we remember what the Lord has done for us. And so what he's saying to the children of Israel is never forget what I've done for you and how I've brought you along to where you are. And now I'm about to give you the fulfillment of the promises I made to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, the fulfillment of the promise to give you a land of your own. The wickedness of that land is complete. That's what God has said to Moses. And he said, the wickedness being complete. I'm judging these people and you're going to be the instruments of my judgment. God does that with nations. He judges people and judges nations. And so he says in verse 11, he said, beware, this is Deuteronomy 8, lest you forget the Lord your God by not keeping his commandments and ordinances and statutes, which I'm commanding you today. He said, lest when you've eaten and satisfied and built houses and lived in them, and when your herds and flocks multiply and your silver and gold multiply, all that you have multiplies. In other words, when you come in and be prosperous in that land, then your heart becomes proud and you forget the Lord who brought you from the land of Egypt out of the house of slavery. Uh, I don't know about you, but God has given me and my family everything. Uh, I didn't start with anything. We didn't start with anything. And even as I look around my house, everything in my house has been provided for by God through the people of God. It's amazing. That's one of the blessings of being a pastor for all these many years. The people of God that God used to support me and my family, I I just can't forget that. Oftentimes we can say, well, I did this and I did this. I've been successful. And he said, "Uh, that's not. He said, remember the Lord your God. It's he who's giving you the power to make wealth so he can confirm his covenant to you. God gives us everything today, every blessing through every trial every resource that we might ever need. Let's never forget that. In fact, this would be a great day just to thank the Lord for all that he's given us. I remember where I started. I'm sure you do too. I remember when I began as a, as a young person, as a college student, seminary student, uh, young married, all, all of these things. And, and, and I have to say, God, you did it all. You gave me every opportunity, gave me the strength, the wisdom, the power, Uh, to do all of this that I've done. I've done nothing in my life significant that you didn't have a great hand in. Let's thank the Lord today and remember Him. Don't forget Him. Heavenly Father, we thank you today for your gracious guiding hand through the years. We thank you that you've given us the power to live our lives pleasing to you and a blessing to us. In Jesus' name we thank you. Amen.